Ever pondered what makes graffiti so captivating? Is it just vandalism or a profound form of art? As we journey through the urban landscape, one cannot help but notice the colorful murals, the intricate designs, and the bold statements adorning the city's walls. This is the world of graffiti, a universe that straddles the line between rebellion and creativity, between defacement and beautification. Graffiti, at its core, is an unauthorized form of art, typically sprayed onto public or private property without permission. This act of defiance has led many to label it as vandalism, as destruction, as a blemish on the face of our cities. But is that all there is to it? On the other side of the spectrum, there are those who see graffiti as a profound form of art, a voice for the voiceless, a canvas for the disenfranchised. They see beyond the illegal act and into the heart of the artist. They see the hours of planning, the mastery of aerosol, the risk taken, and the message conveyed. They see a form of expression that is raw, unfiltered, and unapologetically bold. Graffiti artists, or writers as they often call themselves, pour their creativity and craftsmanship into their work. They use the urban landscape as their canvas, transforming dull walls into vibrant masterpieces. They play with colors, shapes, and textures to create visuals that stop us in our tracks. Their work is a testament to their skill, their vision, and their undying passion for self-expression. Yet the debate continues. Art or vandalism, creativity or destruction, beauty or blemish, the answers, it seems, lie in the eye of the beholder. Each one of us perceives graffiti through our own lens, colored by our experiences, our beliefs, and our understanding of art. A world without graffiti might be more pristine, but would it be as vibrant and expressive? Perhaps not. Perhaps the beauty of graffiti lies not just in its visual appeal, but also in its ability to provoke thought, to challenge norms, and to give voice to the silent. Let's take a moment to see graffiti through the eyes of an artist. As we venture deeper into the urban jungle, we encounter a solitary figure, a graffiti artist armed with a can of spray paint, standing before a vast, blank wall, his canvas. He gazes at it, not as an obstacle but as an opportunity, an opportunity to transform the mundane into the extraordinary, the forgotten into the memorable. The artist approaches the wall, studying it closely. His eyes scan the surface, taking in the texture, the roughness, the imperfections, these are not flaws to him, but features. Features that will add depth and character to his creation. Art, after all, is not about perfection. It's about expression. He takes a step back, visualizing his masterpiece. He sees not just a wall, but a canvas bursting with potential. He contemplates the technique he'll use, the color palette he'll choose, the composition he'll create. Each decision is deliberate, each stroke is calculated. This is not a random act of vandalism. This is a thoughtful act of creation. The artist reflects on the message he wants to convey, the emotion he wants to evoke. He thinks about his audience, the passers-by who will encounter his work. He wants to provoke thought, to stir emotion, to challenge norms. He wants his art to be a conversation starter, a thought provoker, a statement maker. As he begins to paint, the wall comes alive. It's no longer a lifeless structure, but a vibrant canvas, Colors dance across the surface, shapes take form, and a story unfolds. Through an artist's eyes, graffiti becomes a symphony of color, form, and expression. It's not just paint on a wall, it's a testament to creativity, to rebellion, to self-expression. It's a voice that refuses to be silenced, a voice that speaks the language of art. Now, let's delve into the captivating world of street art, through the lens of some renowned artists. First we journey into the enigmatic world of the elusive Banksy. Hailing from the United Kingdom, Banksy is perhaps the most recognized name in the universe of street art. His artworks, usually laden with satirical undertones, are powerful social commentaries painted on streets, walls, and bridges worldwide. His identity remains a mystery, but his work speaks volumes, echoing his distinct voice across urban landscapes. Next, we shift our focus to Shepard Ferry, an American artist who emerged from the skateboarding scene, most famous for his Obey Giant series and the iconic Hope poster for Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign, Ferry's work is synonymous with rebellion. His art, often recognized by its bold use of colors and intricate patterns, is an exploration of control mechanisms, socioeconomic disparity, and self-empowerment. Ferry's influence has been instrumental in blurring the line between traditional and street art. Moving on, we delve into the vibrant world of Keith Haring, 
A prominent figure in the 1980s New York City street culture, Herring's art is characterized by its bold lines, vivid colors, and active figures. His work often conveys messages of love, unity, and social justice. Herring's art, which was often created in public spaces, bridged the gap between high art and street art, making it accessible and relatable to a broader audience. Lastly, we explore the realm of the French artist known as Invader, known for his unique style of creating mosaic artwork inspired by the pixelated graphics of 1980s arcade games, Invader has invaded cities worldwide with his art. His work, often hidden in plain sight, encourages people to engage with their surroundings in a new and exciting way. Each of these artists has left an indelible mark on the world of street art, pushing boundaries and challenging societal norms. Their impact and influence continue to inspire a new generation of artists, ensuring that the spirit of street art remains alive and vibrant. Have you ever wondered about the process behind these larger-than-life masterpieces? Well, let's dive into that fascinating journey. Creating graffiti isn't as simple as it appears. It's an intricate dance, a blend of vision, planning, and execution. The first step is conceptualizing the design. Artists often draw inspiration from their surroundings, emotions, or social issues. They then translate these ideas into a unique piece of art, often sketching preliminary designs on paper before they ever touch a wall. Next is the hunt for the perfect canvas. It's not just about finding a blank wall. It's about finding the right wall. The location can greatly influence the artwork's message and impact. It's a balance of visibility and risk, as creating street art often walks a thin line between artistic expression and legality. Finally, comes the execution. This stage is a test of endurance, precision, and sometimes courage. Artists must adapt to the challenges of the wall's texture, the weather, and sometimes even the police. Each spray of paint, each line and shade is done with meticulous attention to detail, often under the cover of darkness. The process is intense, thrilling, and fraught with challenges. But for the artists, it's a labor of love, a chance to voice their thoughts, to leave their mark on the world. The next time you see a piece of graffiti, remember the hard work and passion that went into creating it. So, what is the impact of these vibrant murals and cryptic stencils on our society and culture, you may ask? Well, let's dive into it. Street art, often dismissed as vandalism, is a powerful form of public art with a significant cultural impact. It's like an open-air museum, where the city walls become a canvas for artists to express their creativity, and for us, the observers, to engage in a dialogue. Imagine walking down a gray, concrete street. Suddenly, you turn a corner and are met with a vibrant mural. It's a splash of color, a breath of fresh air. This is one of the simplest ways street art can impact our urban landscapes, by beautifying them, by turning mundane cityscapes into stunning works of art. But street art does more than just beautify neighborhoods. It can provoke thought, stir emotions, and even incite social change. Artists use this medium to voice their opinions, to challenge societal norms, to highlight issues often overlooked. Street art becomes a platform for dialogue, a catalyst for change. From the graffiti-laden walls of New York to the politically charged murals in Belfast, street art has shown its power to transform spaces and minds. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our need for self-expression, and our desire to leave a mark on the world. Street art, in its many forms, truly has the power to transform spaces and minds.